On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the Jack Cataclysm 50 cal conversion kit for the RPK. Let's go test it out. This thing is thick. Just look at the size of the bullets going into it. They were not kidding when they said this is a 50 cal conversion kit. And this isn't the first time we've gotten a 50 cal conversion kit. We've gotten one before with the M4 and the Jack Harbinger kit. But that one was a little disappointing. This one, as you can see, is completely obliterating these zombies in just one shot as long as I'm hitting them in the head. But this is against some tier one zombies. So let's go ahead and see how it does against some tier two zombies. And we got some semi-armored tier two zombies here. First shot breaks armor. Second shot does a little bit of damage. And third shot is the kill shot. And it looks like it's a two shot kill if they don't got armor. Not bad for an unpack a punched unupgraded weapon so far. And now let's see how this is doing against a fully armored tier three zombie. Let's throw a quick decoy. Here's our boy right here. How many shots is it going to take for me to actually land one? Ooh, broke his helmet off. That's rare for an unpack a punched unupgraded weapon to do in tier three. The damage on this thing is disgusting. Where's the guy we broke the armor off of? There he is. Ooh, it's actually doing some good damage. We got him to half health. Ooh, but he brought all of his friends with him. Okay, let's throw another decoy. Can we kill these hellhounds at least? It looks like we're doing some good damage to him. But getting them killed is a whole nother issue. I'm sure we could kill one of these tier three zombies, but there is just a hundred of them right now. Let's just try to take one out. Okay, maybe not. Let's play it safe. Let's get out of here. Fly away. Nope. All right. There goes our self-revive. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. But now that we've gone and tested it in all three tiers without pack a puncher upgrades, let's go ahead and change that. Let's get this to tier three into legendary. And now it's got 30 rounds in the mag. Looks like the fire rate doesn't go any faster than it normally does without pack a punch. I was really hoping it would have a full auto option once packed. And what's the reload speed looking like? Very slow. What about with speed cola? Let's take a few shots, reload it. It's a bit better, but still not the greatest. So let's go ahead and throw our MAGA holding on here and the rest of the stuff that we got. Let's go ahead and try to get our self-revive back by doing a tier two bounty. Now we've seen this take out tier three zombies armor. How's this doing against a mangler's armor? First shot broke the armor and looks like about a four shot kill. That's kind of insane. Now let's just do one more tier two bounty. That way we got some money to use once you go into tier three. And we got another mangler in the same spot. Sorry, buddy. You're just cursed to get killed by this. That's just ridiculous how much damage this thing can do. Are we actually going to be lucky enough to get this contract? Let me in there and hand that over. What are we getting here? Abomination right off the bat. Let's go. We're going to need a few perks before we go ahead and fight them, especially Deadshot. I want to see this thing's max damage potential. And against a tier three fully armored zombie. Now it's a two shot kill. That ain't bad at all. But here's our abomination. Let's see how much damage we're doing to him. Go ahead and open up. Shoot a laser something. Let me get that crit point. Nope, he's going to charge at us. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. We'll aim for the right head. He got hit by a little stray airstrike there, but it did break his face pretty fast. He's already at half health. Let's see if we can bait him into another laser by climbing up here. Go for it. Nope, he's going for this other dude's hellhound. We got some helpful Harrys over here. Oh, well, we can still pepper him with damage. Oh, wait, here we go. Finally got him to shoot his laser. Let's get that middle face broken without getting knocked. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, he completely skipped the broken face animation and went to lunging at me. What a bastard. Why don't you try that again, buddy? Let's see what happens. There you go. And he's already dead. That took him out so fast. That's ridiculous. Is that where our luck ends in tier three? We get one trial contract and nothing else. Oh, there is a bounty. Can we get there fast enough? Yes, we can. Give me that. Give us another abomination. I don't care. I'll fight anything. Oh, it's a mangler. I'll take it. Is this going to do as well as it did against that tier two mangler? Can we break his helmet the same amount of speed? It looks like a, a few more shots to take out the helmet. How much damage are we doing though? Why is your health bar not showing up? You too scared to show us? Oh, there we go. He's at half health slowly ticking away at it and it's gone this thing is dastardly and we can't forget to try this out against our favorite disciple come on over here stormcaller when i was trying this out a bit on stream when it came out before my uh sabbatical before the feds got to me i compared this kind of like a slower like fire rate tomfa 
if you will. Obviously, the Tomfo doesn't have a fire rate, but it swings pretty fast. And this thing does, I think, Tomfo levels of damage. But its fire rate is just very slow. It doesn't look as flashy while it's doing the damage. But as you can see right here, the Stormcaller is eating this up. And so am I. I'm eating all these zombies. Back up for a minute. Let me take on your king. Look at that. Already broke his posture. Got him down to half health. No healing. Knock it off. I just wish this thing shot a little bit faster. It'd be absolutely busted. There'd be no saving anything this shoots at. Because it's headshot damage. Just this damage in general is off the charts. Insane. And now our Stormcaller should be dead. As long as he doesn't fly away. Or I don't miss my shot. You know what? Zombies, give me ammo. I'm sick of this. Drop me some. Now. There's some ammo. There we go. Nice and easy. Go ahead and heal up. It don't matter. We're taking that health right back from you. you. Little bastard. It's time for you to go. See you later, buddy. Oh, now there goes my gas mask. You happy? At least we got a skull from it, which I will sell right here. And they keep giving us manglers to fight for these bounties. I want to fight something different. Give me another disciple. Give me a mimic. Give me another abomination. I don't care. I'm just sick of seeing these manglers. At least we know we can take them out pretty easily, especially once we got them in the mangler shuffle. Let's see if we can just stay in the pocket here and take them out. Yes, sir. Oh, there's a mimic. I was just talking about you. And you're already dead. And the hip fire on it don't seem too bad either. The accuracy ain't terrible. And I don't know if I've addressed this or not yet, but you have probably noticed that there is a huge scope on this weapon and that comes default with this conversion kit. I didn't throw this on here just for shits and giggles because we got the 50 caliber bullets. It's all on here by default. And if you wanted to switch it out, you can, but it will take up an attachment slot. And I thought we were probably better off, you know, helping out the weapon a bit more and like movement speed and aim down sight movement speed over just having a different reticle. Come on, one more bounty. Please be an abomination. Just not a mangler. Oh, thank God. I just want to fight one by myself. We had a little too much uh, interaction with other players on our last attempt. Go ahead and shoot that laser. Now we get to see the actual amount of damage we can do this. And we broke his face within, like, what? Three shots? That was insane. Let's keep doing that. I'm down for that kind of damage. Let's go ahead and Aether Shroud so these guys can calm down a bit. Let's see if we can break a face without him even shooting a laser. Not looking like it. You don't want to keep that mouth open. Zombies, I need you guys to chill out and leave me alone. Oh, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Let's go to the middle face. Can we break it? We can. He's already down to his last face within seconds. Let's climb this before he kills us. Shoot another laser. Go for it. No, you want to. Now you're just dying to shoot a laser. There it is. That's what we're looking for right there. This should be it. If we can get enough shots in on him. His health is being drained, but so is mine. And he's dead. Let's go. Took him out with our last bullet before we went down. But that's all right, because he's got a legendary Aether tool in here for me. Oh, no. A pack three crystal. That ain't bad. All right, now that I got that off my chest, let's go ahead and try to find our obelisk so we can take this bad boy in the unstable rift right after we clear out a few nests because I need some ammo mods. All right, we finally got all the ammo mods we need. Let's start cracking these obelisks open. There we go. That's one. Just need two more. Oh, there's number two. Oh, and then it opened up. Looks like somebody did another one. Let's see if we can get there before them. It's 600 meters away. Come on. It's spawning in the middle of tier three. Damn, I think they got it. All right, well, let's start working on our own, I guess. Even though that's what we're already doing, somebody can just come up and take it. Lame. Got to start the process over again. So dumb how they made it so anyone can steal it. All they had to do was do one obelisk. Ain't got to do none of the work for it. There we go. That should be all three that we need. Let's make our way there before someone else steals this one. Of course, it's 700 meters away this time. Actually, don't look like anybody's near it. We can take our sweet time with this. Ooh, let's not die, though. We should probably pay attention to where we're flying to. So let's go ahead and activate it. Let's fly across the river to the next shop. I'm throwing a cashmere just to protect me while I do this. We're dropping these. And I'm grabbing nothing but self-revives. I think we're good. We're coming on Stable Rift. All right, this thing is already proven. It can do its deal damage-wise. But can we survive the Unstable Rift with it? 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a spoiler. I don't think so, at least not solely with this weapon. Because when I used it on stream, it does some pretty good damage. It can take the zombies out, and it's really good fighting against bosses, but I think its fire rate really holds it back, as well as it's only max 150 ammo. But it's still two shot zombies here in the Dark Aether. I just think that it kind of fires a bit too slow to really hold its own against all these zombies. But we're gonna try. We're still gonna give it a good effort. Or at least try to. Ooh, shit. But uh, I think we're gonna have to lean very heavily on the Scorcher if we wanna survive. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. And speaking of the Scorcher, we might as well just use it till the boss shows up. I just wanna see what kind of damage it's doing against the elites, anyways. And the Scorcher is just way too OP for this. Honestly, with, with like everyone saying the RGL is really good for this and the crossbow is really good for us, they're not wrong. I mean, I've also suggested those weapons, but the Scorcher got to be the number one weapon you can bring into here. Not only for flying around and keeping yourself safe, but it just does so much damage to these normal zombies. Like you don't even really have to think. You just let it recharge all the way back up, send another one, and then relax for a little bit. You can basically just do this until every boss spawns. It's just way too good at what it does. Probably the most underrated wonder weapon of all time. There's our boss. Why don't you come on in here and actually try this out? Oh, it's going to be a mimic first time around. I always forget the order of the bosses. Let's keep our Scorcher going to hold the zombies back. How much damage are we doing to this bad boy? Actually, a good amount. We got him on the ropes. Let's go ahead and hit our Aether Shroud while he jumps up here. Already got him to half health almost instantly. We got to jump down before these zombies take me out. But this thing is a boss slayer. It does so much damage to him. We just got to make sure we're not taking that much damage back. Go Scorcher. Take him out. Let's get a few shots in from over here. He's so low. We really just need to take him out. Just got to keep him in our sight line. Come on. He can't be more than like two shots away from death. Let's throw a quick molly just to hold him back. Come on up those stairs. There you go. Night, night, pal. So easy. Bosses literally can't do anything against this bad boy. It's too powerful. It's too strong. It's too gnarly. But now we got to wait a whole another five minutes for the next boss. This unstable rift is so tedious. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this a mimic coming up here? Yeah. I don't think so, pal. Normally, these things are like the biggest op you have in here. But pull this out and shoot them a few times. They're gone. No mimic stands a single chance. They're just getting fried. Shoot a quick laser. They jump up here. They're like, oh, you know, we'll take care of this. We can withstand the Scorcher laser. You can't withstand this. Finally, we got our boss spawning in. Only took forever. And it's still taking a sweet time getting over here. How are you further away from them when you started? I'm pretty sure this boss is a mangler. And I don't think a whole lot of anything does a whole lot of damage to these manglers because they're just so bulky. But they're also extremely slow. So they're not that hard to deal with. Let's hope I don't stick my own foot in my mouth here. Oh, yeah. We already got a decent amount of damage on him. I'm pretty sure his helmet's already broken. So that's a good sign. Ooh, but he is not liking the headshot damage I'm giving him. Let's see if we can get another Aether Shroud here. We should be getting another one right here. Let's get some shots in on him first, then we'll use it. Now he's lost out here in the, in the gas. Where'd you go? Oh, here he is. I got lost in the gas. I had no idea where he's at. We might just be able to stick this. Let's just keep shooting him. I don't care if the zombies get me. I do care a little bit, but we got him. We just barely pulled it off. Let's go. And rinse and repeat till the next boss shows up. No way we went down right there. That's so lame. That's fine, though. Our first down on phase three, that ain't bad. It could be a lot worse than that. Oh, and here's the HVT mimic. This is what we've been looking for the whole time. How much damage are we doing to you? Some pretty decent damage, but he's still extremely bulky. We gotta leave before he knocks us. And this is the time where we just slow float it down until our Scorcher's recharged. And hopefully get some good damage on him as he's making his way to us. Oh, shit. Now we should be able to take him out right here. I'm staying in. I'm not leaving. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we can leave. Just had to make sure he was taken care of. Even though it's probably about to spawn a whole nother one. Damn, it's just eating through these elites. Nothing getting past it, except for some zombies that might actually kill me right here. 
Nope, we're good. We're chilling. We're fine. Ain't no problem. Spawn on that boss already. We've been doing this forever. There it is. Just had to complain a little bit. Oh, and we went down. Damn it. I thought I could get a Scorcher shot off there. We got the Stormcaller to deal with. Let's try getting some shots in before we have to Aether Shroud. Can we get that mask on him broken? Not looking like it. Let's go over here. Aether Shroud to get safe. But now we can get a better shot on him. Maybe. Ooh, I don't think we got that broken. There's a lot of zombies in the area, though. Let's try to get our Aether Shroud back. There we go. Send one more shot just to cover our tracks. And he's all the way on the other side of the map. What are you doing, dude? Get over here. Get where I can see you. Eh, might as well send a shot his way. See if we can't take out some zombies with him. And now we Aether Shroud. Oh, he came right up to us. Can we get that mask broken? Yes, sir. Doing some decent damage to him. And we just need to reset our position. We'll set up right over here. We got to use a quick Scorcher shot to make sure that we're safe. And let's send some across the bow. Mimic, please. I do not got time for you. Oh, there's too many. We got to keep moving. That's the name of the game. Keep it moving. I just heard 60 manglers go for their shot at the same time. That kind of sounded cool. But not as cool as this round end sound is going to sound like. Throw a quick molly over there near the entrance. And of course, he's in the perfect spot where I can't get to him. And now he's flying away again. Coward, get over here. There we go. Get some nice shots in on him while he's lounging around. Oh shit, I'm going down. Damn it, dude. We went from no downs to three downs in phase three. Not good. We're spiraling out of control. Oh, there's a cashmere on the ground. That means I can use this one. Guilt free. And try to get some free shots in. Oh, he's already pretty hurt. Let's not go down again. Or let's do it. Fuck it. We are wasting all of these. We should be fine when it comes to the next boss, since it is going to be a mimic after this. So we should do some like insane damage to him without him flying away from us. This guy's playing a little hard to get. Let's Aether Shroud again. Hopefully for the last time. Maybe not. He's very hurt, but so are we. We gotta fly out of here. God damn, dude. You gotta stop messing around, man. I'm done with you. I don't want to deal with you anymore. This should be it for him. Right here. Perfect. There's still gonna be a few bosses roaming around, but... We'll be all right. What do we get for that? A whole lot of nothing. What else do we get from this? Some shock sticks? That could be good against our final boss. Feels like they're making me wait double the amount of time. Spawn in the boss already. There it is. See, it helps to complain. Every single time. Well, let's hope he doesn't hit us with an ill-timed EMP. It always seems to happen right when I'm about to hit my Aether Shroud or I'm trying to fly away with the Scorcher. It's like his AI is better. How much damage are we doing to him? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty decent for the, the fourth phase boss. Uh-oh. Well, let's not go down. None of that. We don't need none of that. Let's get some good damage on him and all the zombies trying to push us. Oh, and he did EMP me at the wrong time. We gotta fly away now. Well, we got an Aether Shroud. We just gotta wait for him to be visible. Here it is. Here's our chance. Let's get some shots in on him. We already got him down to half health. If only we can keep hitting him in the mouth. Oh, he's coming up here. He wants to talk to us one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and I'm not going to let him have that. We're out. Get one more fully charged shot. We should be able to get our Aether Shroud right here. Perfect. Still EMP me, but we got the Aether Shroud off first. And he's very low health. Oh, we can't get too greedy. We got to save these self revives. A few more shots though, and that's it for him. Oh, he paused for a second to shoot his projectile, and that should do it for him. Oh, and we're going down while he has no health. Can I punch him to death? Nope, he EMP'd me. Come here. Let me punch you to death. Let me get this last hit as a punch. Come on. I don't want to waste the self-revive. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. I don't know how much I'm helping myself here. Okay, we got to get ourselves back up. Unfortunate. Wait. Maybe just a little bit more. He's so close. I'm so close. You gotta do it. Please let me save the self-revive. 
Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm messing around too much. He's literally gonna be one shot once we stand up. Up oh, two shot, I guess. Lame. Still got him though. And we got four self revives to spare. Not bad. One more phase to go. Let's hope our, our self revives can last. And we still have all of our kill streaks to use, but I'm saving them until we get a bit closer to when this boss is gonna spawn. So that could be some free damage we can get on him. Oh, and another free cashmere. Don't mind if I do. Come on, we can't be that far out from the boss. There's only eight minutes left. And he still hasn't spawned in. Bring it in here. There he is. All right, now we can start setting up our defenses. Let's go land on this side real quick. Try to draw all the zombies away. Also, just hit him with a nice laser from here. See if we can get some easy damage on him before he shows up. Uh-oh, our Scorcher is not charged. There we go. We've got just barely enough to get out of here. Perfect. Let's fly on over to here. Pull out our turret. Set it up. Let's grab our monkey bomb. Let's also throw that. See if we can keep the zombies away for a little bit. Disciple, you're really starting to piss me off here. You don't need to be constantly throating me like that. Ooh, where's your manners? Slobbering all over me. Let's get our mortar strike out. Get back to our roof and let's use it. Let's send it down right here. We should be able to get an aether shroud pretty soon. Just maybe one more scorcher shot. And it'll be perfect. So it'll be right up here for us. There we go. Let's get his mass broken. And let's throw a cashmere right under him. Oh no, he's got an elite mimic on me. Stay back. That turret can get some nice easy damage on him. While we're flying away. And we already got a good amount of his health gone. No, that's the mimic. I'm seeing the wrong health bar. Oh yeah, he barely has any damage done to him right now. We can change that. At least that's the plan anyways. Ooh, maybe not. We are getting slammed from all angles. Let's get another shot in here. Oh, Mangler pushed me way forward. We gotta fly away now. Holy shit. They aren't playing nice this time around. Oh, and we also have our tombstone we can hit. Please be a nuke. Nope, double points. Not like it matters here. Let's see if we can get another Aether Shroud. That's probably gonna be the only way we get damage on them. We also have our Cluster Mine that we can throw down. Maybe keep back some of these bosses. We got an Aether Shroud right here. Try to get some damage on him while we can. It wore off, but we got a decent amount. We still have another Cashmere to use on top of our Shock Sticks, if we can pull it off. It's just these elites keep pushing me out of here. Let's throw a uh, Molly at these guys. Get a nice shot going across all these zombies here. And another. There's our Aether Shroud. So we'll shoot another one. Pick up a monkey bomb. Let's actually go ahead and throw that. Oh, let's get knocked out of the whole map. I just need to get to a good spot so I can use this Aether Shroud on him. And there goes our turret. It just broke. Damn. They were not giving our turret any time. Oh, we finally got his mask broken. Let's go. Beautiful. Kashmir. Your time to go. Holy shit. Let's not go into our Kashmir's portal. That actually probably would have been better for us. But 99% of the time I go through that, I get spawned way out in the storm. Okay, we got two self revives left. We can't be dicking around. We still got a decent amount of health, but at least we have his, his mask broken. That's the huge barrier we need to get through to him. And only two minutes left to do it. And this other disciple thinks he's a shit. Not even the fart. Oh, my Lanta. I got sniped by a Mimic. We're down to our last self-revive. It's do or die time. And I ain't planning on dying. Let's see if we can stack them with these shock sticks. We got one on them. Let's wait for them to come up for another. There you go. Had to really aim that one. Took my time with it. There we go. Now we're getting some nice damage. Got to keep moving. Holy shit. They do not want me to live. Only 58 seconds until this storm starts moving in. I'm going to have even less room to work with. But the name of the game right now is getting the Aether Shrouds. That's all we need. We get some good damage here. Before we got to move on. Oh, we might go down again. Fuck, dude. All right, no more self-revives. Another mistake. 
means our certain death. There ain't no getting out of this one. We don't got a pistol to shoot while we're on the ground to try to help us. Nothing. All we got is time running out. We still got 14 minutes. It's not now or never, but never's looking uh, a bit closer especially since our rooftop is getting destroyed here the storm is moving in oh we're really cutting it close extremely close oh and he came over just to see us one-on-one -on -one. have a shock stick let's get some shots in while he's reviving or, or spawning in some elites oh my lanta oh it's moving in so fast they do not even want us on an, a single rooftop this is bad we got an aether shroud though and he's getting low in health Come on. Let's not go down. No going down. We might go down. We're not going down. Holy shit. The wave of emotions. Oh, my Atlanta. Where's he even at? All the way in the storm? Get out of there. The storm's already coming to you. Here, have a prox mine. Oh, we don't need you healing. That's really not what we need. Holy shit. I think this is the longest I've ever been in the unstable rift. It's an entire game's length. Oh, I'm going down here. Ain't no help in it. Yes, there is. Holy shit. I can't believe this. I'm just gonna keep firing Scorcher shots at him. This is a nightmare, dude. I've never been so puckered in my life. Oh, monkey bomb. Do I have time to throw it? Let's hope so. There we go. Let's Aether Shroud. Get some shots in on him. There we go. We got a little bit. Not enough, though. I'm so nervous right now. You need to please die. I'm asking nicely. Holy shit. We got another Aether Shroud somehow out of that. Switch weapons, please. There we go. Can I get some shots on him? Please die. Please die. He's not even moving. He's not even moving. I'm stressed as fuck. Please die. Please shoot the Scorcher too. It can't be that hard. Come on, that's gotta be it. Let's go. Oh, holy shit. Look how small the circle is. There's basically no rooftops available. I can't believe we made it through that. That has gotta be the most stressful, successful unstable rift run we've ever done. Let's get out of here and let's get our schematics reset. God damn. Gotta love to see that 72 hours reduced off our cooldown. So nice. 5,000 kills too. Jeez. So after kegling our way through the unstable rift, overall thoughts on the Jack Cataclysm, it's really good. Like I said before, the fire rate definitely holds it back and it's not gonna be able to solo the unstable rift, but it does do some hefty damage and can take out basically any elite that comes your way. Like we were taking out mega abominations in tier three, we took out the storm caller pretty easily. It worked very well against a lot of the bosses in the unstable rift, but it doesn't shoot fast enough to be able to deal with the hordes of zombies or the elites. It's basically one or the other. You can take out all the zombies you want, or you can take out all the elites that you want. Just try to space them out a little bit. I think that's probably why it does have the scope on it, because close range, once you're getting mobbed, it's not going to be that much help. But if you can get some shots on anything, it's going to deal some pretty nice damage. In my opinion, this is what our 50 cal conversion kit should be. It does over the top damage, absolutely obliterates anything way better than the m450 cal conversion kit that we got earlier in the year but its fire rate is pretty bad and the ammo count is pretty bad as well but using maga holding gives you 150 shots that you can fire without needing to reload still a very weak amount of ammo but i think the damage kind of makes up for it anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end it there thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later